Hello everyone, what is going on? Welcome back to the channel. For this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to take the hook off of a Nucleus 5 cochlear implant. So, um, enjoy the video. I hope the video is beneficial to you guys. And um, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video if it helped you, um, share the video with your friends and family, and let me know in the comments what other videos I should make in the future. Okay, so as you guys can see, this is the Nucleus 5 cochlear implant that I have with me right now. And this over here, this plastic thing over here, that's called the hook. And that is what helps keep the cochlear implant on your ear or on whoever's wearing it um, on their ear. So it's on really, really tightly. It's like attached to the rest of the cochlear implant very tightly. So it, it can feel like as if you're doing it the wrong way or... Um, or it can sometimes feel like you're doing it the wrong way and it's about to break. But I'm going to show you guys right now that um, it won't break. And But before I do this, I want to tell you, you shouldn't take it off if it's not necessary. Because I, I think like the more you take it off, the looser it gets. And so and the more um, wear and tear, I guess you could say, uh, will happen. And it can the shorter lifespan maybe it will have. But I want to... Um, I, I want to tell you, I usually just take it off maybe once. Like, I, I only take it off if I absolutely need to. If it's not the right size or if it's, um, if it's broken, then I'll take it off to replace it. But this hook probably has been on for the past, past pro like, a, maybe a year and a half it's been on and I haven't had any need to take it off. So I'm going to, uh, even though I have taken it off, but I haven't had to for the past year and a half the year and a half ago it broke and i had to replace it with this one but uh i've only taken it off to practice to show you guys how to take it off so hopefully you will benefit from this video and you will be able to take it off by the end so um this first method i'm going to show you is not the, the safest way to go about it but it works and um i just i i'm first like i do like first i put my palm on the hook like this okay and hold the rest of the cochlear implant like this and then I just do snap it off like that and it snaps off okay and uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to put it on and then I'm gonna show you guys a safer way to put it on to take it off I mean I'm sorry so to put it on you just snap it oh my camera isn't focused is it focus oh there so you just basically align it with the cochlear implant and then you just snap it you snap it really hard <laughs> it's it goes on really tightly so obviously to put it on or take it off is kind of complicated but you just have to snap it into place okay on both sides now that was it was an okay method but i kind of get nervous when doing it and i want to be surprised if you do too these things aren't cheap so um I'm going to show you guys a safer way to do it maybe now. Um, this one is a, li a bit harder, I have to say, but I feel safer when I do it. But it kind of takes a few tries, so I'm going to try to show you as best as I can. Um, so first I put my thumb under it like this, and then I wrap the rest of my fingers around the hook like this. And go put my uh, pointy finger uh, as close as I can to the base. And just hold it and sn try to snap it off. It's going to take a few tries because it's harder than just doing like that with the palm of your hand. But it's safer. See, that's why I'm saying it's kind of harder. But I've, I have done it before and I feel safer when I do it. I just, I just feel like I want to do this, but I'm trying to show you guys how to do it this way. Okay. There. So, um... That wasn't a very good demonstration. I'm gonna try to show you guys again. But like I said, this that part that that way to take it off is a bit harder, but it might be a bit safer. I'm not sure actually now that I'm thinking about it. But that's the way actually. If you watch uh, Cochlear also Cochlear themselves, they have a video on how to take it off, and that's how they take it off. Um, so I assume it's probably safer than the way I uh, showed you before. So. Let's do this one more time. I have to show you guys how to put it on, just in case you didn't get it the first time. You just basically align it. It's pretty simple. 
and snap it on. Oh, that was faster than the first time. Um, okay, now let's put wrap our fingers around it. Hope that shows you guys how I'm doing it. Hope it's pretty clear. Got it? Now snap it off. Oh, that was easier than the first time. See, I don't, it, it takes practice, but the thing is, I usually do not even take it off, and you shouldn't either. This is just for, um, I just, I, I want to impress on you that you shouldn't have to take it off unless it's absolutely necessary, unless it, you don't like the size of it, or it's dirty, or you want to replace it, um, because it's broken or something. You really shouldn't take it off. Anyway, I'm going to show you guys how to put it on one more time, and then hopefully, uh, unless I change my mind, I will not have to show you guys again. And I hope it really, I, this video helped you. I'm just going to put it on now, align it. It's aligned. Now just snap it on. Just like that. It's going to take a, it might like take a few tries, especially if uh, you've never done this before. Um. In fact, I've had this cochlear implant for uh, seven, yeah, seven years, and I'm still, as you see, not an 100% professional at this because I do not ever need to take the hook off. I just want to, I, I know I keep repeating myself, but I just feel like I need to tell you guys um, so that you guys uh, don't feel like you need to always replace your hook. Um, this is basic, this is based on personal experience, I do not know, maybe, maybe, um, Cochlear recommends that you take it off every, I don't know, but based on personal experience, I, I do not need to take this off more than, um, I, I'm telling you, I think the last time I took it off for reasons that I needed to was a year and a half ago, so I just want to let you guys know. So, there you have it, um, I hope that this video was beneficial for you, for you guys, and I hope it helped you with, um, with anything to do with your hook, uh, taking and replacing and putting it back on. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content. Let me know in the comments what other videos I should make in the future. Uh, like the video and share the video with your friends and family. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.